Hi, this is Math 1115. Remote delivery for May 6, 2020. We'll go over the last project. I'll get, do a key so you can grade, talk about the reporting processes, and make a few other observations. Feel free to use these. This keys made me happy today, helps. so uh, here we go. This is a lyric from a song I really enjoy. When the night has been too lonely and the road has been too long, and you think that love is only for the lucky and the strong. Just remember in the winter, far beneath the bitter snows, lies the seed that with the sun's love in the spring becomes the rose. We can do this. Finish strong. Okay, so I'll go over the key and so on and so forth. Email it to me soon. Um, grading, I am still harvesting grades from my uh, from my emails and in fact no one believes this but I have a lot of emails to harvest from this was just moments ago um, I am going to do an individual uh, audit with students and some students have missed various assessments and things like that and they're wondering can they make it up I'm not going to have them make it up but I'm not counting it against them either for example there's a young person who has missed quiz 5 uh, and six, the chapters five and six. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to count that against them because I'm going to divide by their average across the other uh, quizzes. That's what I'm going to be uh, using. It doesn't help them, and they, uh, you know, uh, realize that they missed an opportunity, perhaps to do better, but it doesn't hurt them either. Uh, but the final exam is a mandatory course requirement. There will be zero forgiveness here. There's been a lot of um, generosity uh, so far. There won't be generosity here, so pay attention. Okay, here is the um, quiz and the rubric. Okay, so uh, what you were supposed to do is write two equations. Here is an equation or an inequality. Here is the inequality, one of those two. Uh, you're supposed to clearly label what each variable stands for. So this is what we're letting them stand for. You didn't have to let them stand for the same thing, but you had to define it. You had to have that x was bigger than or equal to 0, y is bigger than or equal to 0. And so there's uh, basically uh, 10 points each. Um, and so there's half of the problem as 10 points. This is the other half. Perhaps it is 10 points. John did list some additional information here that uh, you don't have to have on this problem, but you will need it later. And so you make note of that, but don't make deductions for that. Again, this was 20 points. Figure out what the deductions are. Uh, number two, you were supposed to graph each of these on graph paper, and John was being helpful, uh, letting you uh, get the graph paper. Uh, and this is uh, 25 points. So let's look at the graph. Now, each of these things that I'm going to say are five points each. So you were supposed to label the curves. So you should have labeled the curves. That is one, two. You're supposed to graph the curve. The blue one would be three. The red one would be four. And you were supposed to shade the area on the blue curve. So that's five pieces. One, two, three, four. And the shading is five. Five points each. Okay, number three. If the welding project needs to be completed as soon as possible, find the number of hours each welder should uh, work on the project. And, um, and then you're also supposed to say, what is the labor cost? And indicate this on your graph. So you see, uh, and you indicate the method you use. So you see there were five uh, things were asked for. One, two, three, four, and five, indicating the answer on your graph. So that is uh, five points each for 25 points. These are the answers you should have had. And there's your answer on your graph. Uh, number four was worth five points. Uh, each welder could work eight hours a day, and they can work at the same time. How many days till the project is complete? Well, uh, you divide um, Tim's time by eight, and uh, that is the number of days, five points. Okay, uh, number five, if time were not a concern, the least possible cost for this project. How long would Sue and Tom each work, and how many days? Okay, so there are five things uh, that are here. It also says indicate where on the, this point is on your uh, graph. Okay, and so uh, what happens is that um, 
uh, what happens is Sue works zero hours and Tim's works a thousand and so you should have a dot up here at the point zero one thousand because that's how many hours uh, that Tim would work. The labor cost was this, Sue's hours and Tim hours, and it would be 125 days because uh, you divide into that into eight and you get 125. Again, five points for each. Now, uh, when you submit it, tell me that this is your uh, grade on uh, project three. Here's a hypothetical student. Uh, there were 100 points possible. This student lost 20. You subtract, that's 80, and he reports that he had 80%. And that is the score that it's getting emailed. Now more than ever, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math. It will make you strong. And now more than ever, take care of yourself and of each other. God bless. See you around.